Hello everybody, it's Riley Hamilton, and uh, I would like to talk to you about Slim Jimmy's new song, Chanel, that just came out today. Um, I got a lot of thoughts about it. Uh, I think the best plan of action is you listen to the song on your own right now, take it in, and then listen to my thoughts on it right after, because I can't play the song because YouTube doesn't it won't let you play even 10 seconds of a song or else it'll get me booted. So listen to the song on your own and then let's talk about it. Okay, listen right now. I'll wait for the full three minutes. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, watch it. Listen to it now and then here, here it goes. Okay, here are my thoughts. So we got the Ray Shrimmered triple play a couple weeks ago when they released Power Glide, Hard to Look, and Brink's Truck, right? We got all those songs at the same time. I forget if, uh, I, I forget if, um, Sway Lee's song was called Hard to Look or Hurt to Look, but I'll have to look that up another time. But anyway, I think it was, You shouldn't hurt to look your way. Yeah, Hurt to Look. Okay, we got all three. I think it's fair to say that Brink's Truck was not What's Up, and Hurt to Look was good, but it was also still underneath the quality that we've come to expect from Ray Shrimmer as a group. But when they came together for Power Glide, that was a good song. Like maybe an 8 out of 10. People liked it. I'd say Brink's Truck was a 6 out of 10. Hurt to Look was a 7 out of 10. And then we got 8 out of 10 quality for Power Glide. This new song, Chanel, by Slim Jimmy, bumps Slim Jimmy's solo quality level up two notches. I'm talking 8 out of 10. Chanel is very good. Pharrell gave him a very fun verse. I don't know if you've listened to it all the way yet, but Pharrell, Pharrell took the future la di da da flow from King's Dead and really crystallized it into a new form of rapping. It's like baby talk, uh, high-pitched, but he really, I wish I could listen to it now and play it for you at the same time, but I'm having to just recall it in my memory, but it really crystallized that la di da di da flow and made it into a worthwhile new way to say your verse. I think it's really fun. He says, wind up a clock when it's dying. Everything, the syncopation of that verse, the melody, everything was so great. It's like Pharrell said, here you go, guys. I'm going to give you a beautiful verse. Uh, you know, be careful with it because it's going to shine so hard. Um, I think the ad libs in Chanel are so great. I think it's Sway Lee who's just going frightened, messy. Okay, they're very, they're crystal clear. They're perfect. Uh, it's like a little, it's like a little kid is telling you this song is great. I don't know if that's the right metaphor. It's like. Sway Lee had already given us the little kid flow on Swang. He made his voice kind of uh, as high as it would go, and I think this is continuing in that same vein. It's just a fun new way to use your voice, have it really high. Um, what else to say? Chanel is a good song. Still, it's not a 10 out of 10. It's not um, Black Beatles, which was a 10 out of 10 song. It's not Swang, which was a 9 out of 10 song. But it's a it's a eight out of ten. It's as good as Power Glide, and it's amazing to have to let Slim Jimmy, uh, you know, have this one. Not that he he probably curated it or whatever. It's just great that Slim Jimmy is now showing a quality level that rivals Sway Lee's, because everybody always says, "Oh, Sway Lee is the major factor in Ray Shrimmered," and you know, Sway Lee is the one to watch. But really, I mean, Slim Jimmy comes out as well a lot. His verses are so fun. And, uh, yeah, I've got a lot to say about it, but I just think that overall Chanel is a great song worth listening to. And I think the main takeaway is that it really reinforces the fact that Slim Jimmy is a force to be reckoned with as a solo artist. He's very fun. If you listen back to that 15 minute or 30 minute freestyle that they both did, did on Tim Westwood, Sway Lee kills it, but Slim Jimmy was going in as hard as he possibly could as well, and they were just doing so good. 
They're just two forces to be reckoned with, and when they're together, they're amazing, but even maybe when they're apart, they could still be amazing. Okay, those are my thoughts on Chanel by Slim Jimmy. Let me know what you think uh, your personal opinion is in the comments. I really love you guys, and subscribe to my channel because I love you. Goodbye.